Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's an Italian master? That's why he's big. He's Italian like me. Yeah, he's, he's still growing too. He's a puppy still. He's 15 months. Huge. Huge. Yes, Beautiful. Yes. Thank you. What's up guys? I'm going to do a little commentary over some footage from my push day and I'm not really going to speak to the workout so much so I'm just going to let that play for you guys to watch. I want to talk a little bit more about what it really takes to see results. You guys know I've been cutting. I started a cut early this year and really took things slow and steady. And I've seen some good changes. Nothing drastic like you guys are kind of used to seeing on my channel because you've seen me mostly doing cuts for bikini preps. And right now I'm at a point in my life where my focus is not for a competition. And it's not because I don't want to get back on stage someday because I do. It's just there's a lot of other things going on in our lives right now that my attention needs to be towards that. So, But I do still want to continue to make changes. Not because I think I need to lose. Well, I do want to lose weight, but I know I get asked that a lot. People are like, why do you think you need to lose weight? Well, I don't have to. Health-wise, I'm in a good spot. But in terms of my fitness level, I want to feel stronger. I want to look stronger. I want to be a better athlete. And overall, I just want to work towards my potential, which I haven't been doing. And I started to get in a little bit of a rut with this cut. So the biggest thing for me to be able to move through this, this rut I was in is really kind of getting it it together. It's, it was really about me figuring out what I needed to do to better track what I'm doing in order to see results. You need to have a blueprint in order to build a house, right? So the same applies to your body and to the goals that you guys want to achieve. So I know for me, I was going to the gym, going through the motions, not really tracking what I was doing, kind of just figuring it out while I was there and not really progressing. And so I, I almost can't believe it's taken me this long to realize it, but I needed to just finally take a bit more, uh, I needed to cha take charge of my training. You know, I feel like I'm in a good place with my nutrition. I've got a good relationship with food. Um, so I'm good in that department, but my training, I really feel like I've been lacking. So I've mentioned this before, but I'm really, this is going into week three for me of following a new training split, a five day uh, training split that I'm doing, you guys. I'm tracking my weights, I'm tracking my reps, I'm tracking um, all this stuff. <laughs> I'm tracking it all and comparing week after week. What am I doing? Am I improving? Am I doing more reps? Am I increasing my weights? Am I feeling fatigued? Do I need to focus more on my recovery? And I'm just taking, um, I'm taking more responsibility for what I'm doing in the gym. And I think that's a huge part of what will get you your results. You really have to be consistent in all those areas. So I'm doing a much better job at that. Um, scale's not reflecting a huge change right now, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you just have to focus on all those other areas. So I hope that little chatty chat gave you a little update on what's going on with me. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the footage and the rest of the vlog. This guy is at the gym. Just sitting here being proper. My lipstick out. Post workout, I'm starving. I'm having a whole Joseph's lavish wrap with 150 grams of egg whites inside there, some Velveeta cheese, and tomato basil. This is Dash. I want to show you the wraps in case you guys aren't familiar with them. They are the Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lavish Wraps. They are huge and they're normally soft, but I'm keeping them in the freezer just because I don't eat them all the time. The macros on this guy are awesome. Half a lavish, 
So half a wrap is 60 calories, one and a half grams of fat, eight carbs, three fiber, and five protein, but I usually eat the entire wrap. So um, still fairly low carb, good source of fiber, good source of protein, and they're tasty. So these are really good for wraps. I like to do breakfast wraps, lunch wraps, and you can do pizza on them too, which is good. I got these at BJ's, which is kind of similar to Costco if you're not familiar with it. You can get them at Walmart too. So on the weekend, I like to eat a little more for fun. I, I like to focus on my health as well, but the weekend I like to also have some fun foods because I can, because I'm home. And since I just finished training, I've mostly been consuming a good amount of macros post-training. I've been purposely trying to do that, to have a higher carb, moderate fat, higher protein post-workout meal. I just find, for me, it makes me feel the best in terms of my energy, number one. Number two, I like to have a full belly, so some tiny little prep type breakfast ain't gonna cut it for me. And three, I wanna maximize what I'm doing in the gym right now. I'm being so consistent with my training, so I really wanna maximize all my efforts in the gym and with my nutrition in terms of meal timing, macro placement, and all those things. Um, so I ate my little egg wrap. I also ate, you guys probably don't even understand how hungry I get after a workout. I also ate one of these French toast English muffins. And I'm now gonna eat a Provitam brownie bowl because it's almost noon. So I just wanna eat a big meal and that way I'm satisfied, I can go about my business and be good to go for at least a few hours. So again, not the healthiest assortment. I'm not, no fruits and vegetables here, but that's okay. So my fun provide and brownie bowl, you guys have seen the recipe. Hopefully you have, it's on the YouTubes, but I use a scoop of this with dark cocoa, fourth teaspoon of baking powder, third a cup of cashew milk. Stir it, cook it for 50 seconds in the microwave, and that's your brownie. And then on top, I've added like a half a serving of this, I think it's vanilla, yep, vanilla peanut butter powder. And then what I did last night, this was so good, you guys will have seen it on my Insta story, but I bought this little mini container of mini M&Ms and I used half last night. The macros on half are like 10 carbs and three fat. So we're gonna add that on top with some, ew, some fat free ready rep, ready whip. And yes, I leave the peanut butter all powdery. It's three servings of fat free. And then the whipped cream kind of like melts into the peanut butter. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's it. This is what I'm eating. And you know what? I don't feel bad about it. That's the beauty of this. I'm getting in a good source of protein. I'm getting in more carbs. I'm getting in some fats. I'm getting in some real sugar as opposed to fake sugar. I don't know, but sometimes your girl just needs a little sugar, so. Highly suggest you guys try this out. If you're having a sweet tooth, I'm in the midst of shark week, hashtag lady week. So this has been a great way to manage my cravings. And look at that. I may have a little bit of Bruce hair in there, but don't mind that, extra protein. So, even though that sounds like a lot of food, kind of is pretty high in protein. 61 grams of protein, 72 carb, that was 12 fiber, 22 sugar, 18 fat, and not a lot of vitamins. So we'll get that in with our next meals, but my tummy and my cravings, well, I wasn't really having cravings, but my tummy is a happy camper right now. Now I can shower and not be hangry. Mr. Wayne. The dog's room has turned into my official selfie spot. Just works well with the lighting in here. My outfit of the day today is, if you guys watched my express haul, if you haven't, go watch it. I shared a bunch of cute Kara style looks, but I'm wearing one of my tank tops. It's like the ribbed for her pleasure tank top. It's got the cute little, oh, I don't know how to show my back. People do this, it cuts down in the back. That was way too extra. And the little army shorts, which are like loose, but 
super comfortable. They're, they're like canvas style shorts. So it's really, really nice out today. I think we're gonna actually, I hate it when my hair does that. Like, what is that? Why do you do that? I used to call that a skank strand when it like separates. In junior high, we called that a skank strand. Skank strand. You heard it here first, folks. But yes, this is my outfit of the day. Got makeup on and I'm feeling a little bit more okay to be on camera today, so. Yesterday, I wanted nothing to do with being on camera because I was having a pity party for myself, feeling ugly. And I know that sounds lame and stupid and vain, but sometimes, you know, when you do these videos, I do think about how I look on camera, and if you're having a really down day or in a really bad place, you just don't want to be on camera because you're not going to want to look at it. So that was kind of where I was at yesterday, but I'm in a good place today. Lady week is ending. The hormones are regulating. And how adorable is this? My dog is outside on the couch. I thought he had to go to the bathroom, but... <laughs> I love looking outside and seeing those little bat ears. All right, so this is gonna be my next meal. It's high in fiber, good source of protein, it's a whole food. It's a goat's horn. And actually, we're gonna give it to Bruce. I'm just joking. Um, it has real goat's hair on it. Apparently, the pet store man said that it's good for cleaning their teeth. It almost like flosses their teeth. So we're gonna give Bruce this horn and see what he does with it. Show it to him, show it to him. See this? Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Hey, you see this? Bruce set. You want the horn? Bruce okay? I'll take it very gentle. <laughs> like so gentle. He's got drool pouring out of his mouth. See yeah. It is Sunday around 2 o'clock. And Jason and I are going to head to Sylvan Beach. It's kind of like this little towny beach, but there's some cute places to eat. So I think we're going to walk around and grab a little lunch and enjoy the weather. Hi, can I get two medium iced lattes made with almond milk? Yep, can I get extra sugar-free coconut in one of those and then toasted almond in the other one? Sometimes. For example, give me a bit more cash and I will give you your fortune. What? I already gave you a dollar. Harpoon Eddie's. Start now with some shrimps, some shrimps cocktail. Got some blackened grilled mahi. And it's basically a salad with pineapple, mango, salsa, I think, blue cheese. Looks good. Thank you. Jason and I are back from our lovely little afternoon at the beach and we stopped at the grocery store on the way home. I'm gonna make like a healthy little meal and I'm gonna share with you guys. It's super easy to make. I've been in like a pasta mood lately, which is weird because I don't actually do a lot of pasta even though I like it. 
but being the summer months, I want to make like a cold veggie pasta salad that is a good source of protein that gives you some nutrients from vegetables. And so I'm going to throw this together. Never done this before, but it shouldn't be too hard. I got this Ronzoni Garden Delight Veggie Trio Pasta. Thought that sounded fun. I have been loving the lentil pasta. Let me just let me just show you that real quick because this has been my jam. The yellow lentil pasta, super high in protein, like normal amount of carbs for pasta, but very high in protein. That's really good. That does kind of um, sometimes get my stomach feel in some kind of way though. So we're just gonna do this uh, veggie pasta. I'm gonna cook that up right now and let it chill. And then we're gonna do, I think, a combo of tomato, avocado, cucumber. I grabbed some Kalamata olives, carrots, mini sweet peppers, and a green bell pepper. And then I'm either gonna do, we're gonna do tuna in there, and then I'm either gonna do like some fat-free dressing, and maybe a little bit of Miracle Whip. I'm not really sure yet, but that's, that's where I'm going with all this. So first I'm going to cook up the pasta. I think I was only supposed to cook the pasta al dente. I think I went a little bit over, over that, but that's okay. We're gonna Dump that out, drain it, and cool it with some, rinse it with some cold water. I went ahead and chopped up most of the vegetables. I'm not gonna do the olives because there is the pit in the middle and I don't feel like dealing with it. I want it to look aesthetic, so screw it. And I'm gonna wait and do the avocado at the end, but here's the veggies we are working with. I don't have to drain my tuna because I'm already lazy and I've got the tuna packet so I'm just going to empty these out and kind of mash it up. Add a little bit of the Italian dressing to my cooled pasta and I'm going to put it in the fridge just to finish chilling it before we add everything together. For any of my UFC fans, last night Jason and I got UFC. The prelims started at 8 p.m. And I was all like tucked in on the couch. It had been a long day. We did a lot of stuff yesterday. And the fights start at 10. And I was sound asleep the second they started. And they went to what time? 1.30? 1.30. 1.30. I, I didn't see a second of this pay-per-view. But the good thing is you do get to keep it for like a full day. No, you can tape it. You can DVR it. Oh, you can DVR it. So you can watch it whenever you want? Yep. Cool. So we're, we've got that playing on in the background because Jason said most of the fights were really good. So, sad I missed it, but your girl got some epic sleep last night. Your boy didn't. The boy did not so much, but sacrifice for a good UFC. Last night with all the nerds and virgins. Yep, now I was cheering on Colby Covington. Were you crying nerd tears? I wasn't crying nerd tears. <laughs> I was drinking nerd tears. You were. All right guys, I was good and I let it chill like I said I was gonna do. It's been at least an hour, so I'm gonna take everything out of the fridge, mix it together, and see what we're working with. I am gonna need a bigger bowl. I just got tuna fish on my camera. All right guys, so the way I did it is I had made up a couple servings of the pasta. So in order for me to track the macros, I just portioned out half the pasta and then I added in my tuna fish, which I did mix with a little bit of Miracle Whip. And then I added in my veggies, weighed those, mixed it all up. And I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna give this a try and see if I need to add any Italian dressing or... Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That is delicious, actually. It was pretty easy. The biggest thing I would just say is you have to be okay with waiting for it to chill because if you eat it while the pasta is still warm, it's just not going to taste as good. But that's a pretty simple summary recipe. And I think this is going to be the end of the vlog. 
because it's getting late and I have some more work to do. I'm going to be writing up a blog post for Angel Competition Bikinis. So I'm going to do that right now and finish watching UFC while I eat, do emails, Sunday night stuff. So I got to get ready for the work week. And that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video. Also, let me know if you try out this pasta salad recipe. If you do and you like it, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh. Avocado. I'm adding that too.